Welcome to Start With, the Tampa Museum of Art's virtual early education program for children and families. Sponsored by the Tampa Bay Super Bowl 55 Host Committee, the Institute of Museum and Library Services, Hillsborough County, and Tico Energy. Hi friends, I'm Miss Victoria, and I work here at the Tampa Museum of Art in downtown Tampa. I'm so excited that you decided to join me today. The Art Museum is an exciting place to discover the elements of art, discover interesting new artists, learn how to share our emotions, and much, much more. Today, I thought we could start with sharing a story together in the galleries, and then we'll take a closer look at a work of art that we'll have a conversation about. And then, I'll suggest an art-making activity for you to get involved and be inspired to create your own unique work of art. So, let's get started and meet in the galleries. Here at the Tampa Museum of Art, we collect artwork that is really old, from ancient Greece and ancient Rome, so objects that are older than all of the grown-ups we know, and modern and contemporary art, or the art of today. Currently, I am in An Irresistible Urge to Create, Florida Outsider Art from the Monroe Family Collection. And today, we are starting with snow. We'll start by reading It Never Ever Snows in Florida, and then we'll take a closer look at a painting by local Florida artist, Frank Ritchie. It Never Ever Snows in Florida, written by Amy Sweezy, illustrated by Ricardo J. Rodriguez, read with permission from the author. AJ lives in Florida. Florida is called the Sunshine State. Even in the winter time, Florida is mostly sunny and mostly warm. AJ likes to go to the beach and run barefoot in the grass. He wears shorts and sandals, except for a few days in the winter when it gets cold. AJ has never seen snow. It never, ever snows in Florida. AJ's mom is a meteorologist on TV. She says it's usually too warm in Florida for snow. Every now and then when it gets really, really cold, a few snowflakes may swirl from the sky, AJ's mom tells him, but it won't stick to the ground or pile up high. Cold air comes from the North Pole, she says. Florida is far away from the North Pole. By the time the air gets to Florida, the sun has warmed it so much that we usually just get rain instead of snow. AJ likes that his mom is a meteorologist. She teaches him a lot about the weather. Snow is frozen water, AJ's mom tells him. When water droplets inside clouds are in really cold air, the water freezes and snow forms. If the air is really warm, the snow melts and the water falls as rain. On the news last week, AJ heard his mom say that 49 states were covered with snow. Only one state did not have snow. Florida. It never, ever snows in Florida. AJ has never built a snowman or had a snowball fight with his sisters or had school canceled because of too much snow. AJ's cousins live in Michigan. It snows a lot in Michigan. AJ's cousins go ice skating outside and ride their sleds down snow-covered hills. They wear thick winter coats and boots and sometimes have to stay home from school because there is so much snow. AJ has never gone to Michigan during the winter. His family only visits in the summer when there is no snow. AJ wants to play in the snow. He wants to build a snow fort and make footprints in the snow. He wants to feel the snow on his face and let snowflakes fall on his tongue. But mostly, AJ wants it to snow in Florida. It never, ever snows in Florida. It does get cold in Florida. Sometimes AJ sees frost on the grass and on his mom's car windows. 
Sometimes he can see his breath when he talks. Sometimes he has to wear a warm coat and mittens to school. But when it's cold in Florida, it doesn't last long. AJ has never seen a whole pile of snow in Florida. It never, ever snows in Florida. One day, AJ's mom took him to the library to read about the times it has snowed in Florida. They found stories of snowflakes falling from the Florida sky. They saw pictures of snow covering the ground in North Florida. AJ's mom showed him that it has snowed in Florida in the past, and it may snow again in the future. But snow in Florida is very rare. You can't say it never snows in Florida, said AJ's mom, because every so often it does. So even though AJ has never seen snow in Florida, he now knows sometimes it does snow in Florida. Now that we've read a fun story together all about snow, let's take a closer look at a painting by the artist Frank Ritchie. Some questions to guide your looking might be, what time of year do you think it is? Does this look like the beginning of winter, the end of winter, or perhaps fall? How many trees do you see? What different colors did the artist use? This painting is untitled and doesn't have a date for when it was created. If you were gonna name this artwork, what might you name it? Just like our friend AJ in It Never Ever Snows in Florida, Frank Ritchie did not see snow as a child and was a little bit older when he first saw snow. However, he loved to depict snow in his paintings as well as other seasons. As a kid, Frank Ritchie also wanted to be a meteorologist, just like our author of It Never Ever Snows in Florida, Amy Sweezy. What do you like to do when it's cold outside? I know that I really enjoy coming to the museum. So now that we've read a story together all about snow and taken a closer look at Frank Ritchie's painting that is all about snow, it is time for you to be inspired and create your own unique work of art. Because it's usually warm in Florida, I decided to make a melted snowman. But then I got inspired by AJ on the cover of our book to use yellow model magic and create a sandman too. Instructions for this activity and suggestions for more ways to engage can be found on our website. And be sure to share your wonderful creations with us on any of our social media platforms. Thank you so much for joining us for Start With, and we'll see you next time.